A political protest with more volume than most. Defying the most powerful state in the union is pretty punk rock. Chris Pallone is the owner of Rail Club Live in Fort Worth, which is defying Governor Greg Abbott's order that forces businesses that take in 51% or more of their revenue from the sale of alcohol to close indefinitely. Hundreds of thousands of jobs at risk right now. The governor made the announcement June 26th to curb an upswing in coronavirus cases, but Pallone says singling bars out is unfair. Rail Club Live opened in protest July 4th. The TABC gave Pallone two choices, shut the party down or lose his license for 30 days. Pallone kept the party going. It's the 4th of July and we gotta do this. Exactly three weeks later, Pallone is at it again, but this time he's not alone. The eight ball billiard and bar in West Fort Worth has a full parking lot and the open sign lit up. There's also a Freedom Fest banner over the door in solidarity with a statewide protest, Pallone spearheaded. And that's what this is all about, stand up for what you believe and stand up for the businesses that are being lost every single day. In a post to Pallone's public Facebook page, he said 800 bars agreed to participate, but it's unclear exactly how many bars actually opened on Saturday. Pallone says while he can't speak for all of the bars involved, the Rail Club Live did not sell or allow alcohol on the premises Saturday. The staff limited the protest of 40 people inside. Temperatures were taken at the door and masks were mandatory. I'm trying to do this safely and responsibly. It's not a free for all party. Despite the precautions, Pallone says he could face an even longer suspension for opening up a second time. And a third could cost him his license for good. This is what America's all about right here. Stand up for what you believe in, win or lose. In Fort Worth, I'm Eric Alvarez.